Hello guys, so we're gonna be doing a back to school haul today. I'm doing like literally everything. So it's not just gonna be a clothing haul, it's gonna be another things haul, a food haul. Um, yeah, so let me preface a couple things first. One, a lot of this stuff was collected over the summer. Like I did a bunch of shop, a couple of shopping trips with my cousin. I kind of just like went to the Target and like, you know, kind of was collecting things a lot of the summer. The other day I went thrifting with my sister, so I got a couple thrift finds. Um, and then I went to Costco and then I went to a vitamin shop and I got some stuff there. I got two things there. Or some Amazon things. Yeah. We got a couple of things to show you. So I, hopefully it's going to be a pretty decent haul for you guys. Okay, let's start out with clothes. So I'm going to show you guys. These are the things I have to wash still because they're dirty. This is from Hollister. It was like 10 bucks. I am absolutely obsessed with this. I think I might wear this for like my first day of school outfit and make it really simple. But I really like the simpleness of it. So I need to wash that. That's going back in my thing. And then I got this, uh, these shorts at Target. They're wrinkly because they're dirty. So guys have to ignore the fact that they're, everything's dirty. But only three things. But still. Anyway, these are really nice. I really like them. They're comfy and I'm going to be able to wear them to dance, which is going to be very nice. And then I have these and they're inside out because they're dirty. Um, but I got these like little shorts from Pink and they're perfect. Like I would buy like three more of these because they are perfect and I love them. Okay, let's move on to stuff that's on hangers so I can put them back in the closet behind me. If you can see that, I left the closet door open. So I'll close that after I show you guys this. Okay. I got this top from Urban Outfitters. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I got a little stain on it. I'm so glad it came out. But I got a little stain on it the one day that I wanted to wear it. So I haven't even worn it yet. Can't wait to wear that, but probably not to school. Then I got this top from PacSun. I love it. I love the little guy on it. I feel like it's so cute. Okay, and then I got this one from Target. It's very tiny, but I feel like with a little cover up, I think it'd be super cute. Um, I like it because it shows off my rib tattoos, which nobody really gets to see except for my boyfriend. So I'm kind of like, or if I'm in a swimsuit. So like, I'm really happy about this, but I have to get my confidence going before I wear it. So I've only worn that like once. Okay. I got this top, which is super cute. I don't think I've worn it in a video. I feel like I, no, I don't think I have. But it's super cute. It looks like it's like, would be ugly, but it's like actually really, really cute on. If I have a picture, I'll put it here, but I really, really like it. It's super fun. Yeah. I thrifted that, kind of, from, like, my friend who thrifts stuff. This is from Hollister as well. Just, like, a simple tank top. It was pretty cheap. really like the red. Red looks really good on my skin tone, so I like it a lot. Okay, that is all of the stuff on hangers. Let me put these away, and then we'll move on. Okay, cool. So, for those who... I don't know if I said this earlier in my intro but i'm leaving for school on saturday which is tomorrow so by the time you guys see this i will already be at school so i'm like in the middle of packing but all of the stuff that's on hangers i'm just gonna like and put in my car but the rest of it i have to pack but anyway we're gonna just get the rest of it over here okay yeah. put my shoes and stuff back there okay so i got these shorts from target i needed like new shorts so i just got like these ones what are nice and then i got a white tank top a while back like at the beginning of the summer but i feel like a basic like a white tank top is so nice to have i'm wearing it a lot um i got this one kind of like thrifting but it's actually a cotton on tank top um i'm not really sure i feel about the like strapping situation because it's kind of like funky but i do love a lot of like basic tanks like that it's pretty cheap so just got that, which is nice. Um, I got this from Urban Outfitters. Just like, if you guys have seen this top, like it's super nice. I really actually really like it. I'm not very much for a cleavage person, but this does have a little bit of cleavage on me, which I'm getting used to. So that's nice to kind of branch out a little bit. I got these from Target. It's just a cross body um, biker short and so i was having a little bit of stress about it at first because i didn't realize there was a seam right here like the middle seam right here but then it does have the crotch seam thing like that you know what i'm saying so it works you know i'm just trying to avoid the camel total costs i got this from pink these shorts i've been needing like a lot of just like comfy shorts that i could like wear to class but also 
where to dance. But anyway, and then there's like, it folds fold down like that if you wanted, which I think is really cute. Also from Pink, I got this workout top. Cause I was like trying to get as much as I could for my dance classes and this is really nice too as a workout top. Okay, moving on to, th oh no wait, I have one more thing. This is from PacSun, just a tank top. Definitely a little more cleavage-y on me because the straps are big, so you can kind of like see a little bit of cleavage. But honestly, I'm getting used to it. I uh, really like it, and I can't wait to wear it to school. But not supportive at all, so I can't wear that to But, okay, so I went thrifting, and I found this tank top in the like lingerie section. Always check the lingerie section because it always, you can always find stuff. I feel like most of the time you can find like good stuff. But anyway, I found this. Super cute. The straps actually fit me very well. It fits my boobs nicely. It's got like... Kind of reminds me of the pink one, but yeah, I don't know. I really like it. It's got these straps in the back, little ribbonies. Love that one. Okay, and look, hear me out. I like this vest. Don't make fun of me. But I got this vest while well, thrifting, and I think it's super cute. I think I could style it. And it's got, look at these, look at these. Anyway, so it's got those like. It's got those cute little, like, almost, I want to say more like a fox kind of vibe. But anyways, I got that vest. And what brand is it? Can I tell you what brand it is? Nope, it doesn't say anything. Okay, and then I got this at the Goodwill Bins. Um, some, wait, so let's see. Yeah, these are both just like the, like a Goodwill or something. And this was at the Goodwill Bins. It's from Shein, but I don't know. I thought, I saw it and I was like, that's kind of cute. Nice. And then I got three more things that are not just like clothes. It's like a jacket, and then I've got a pair of shoes and a purse to show you guys. And that's the last of the clothes. <laughs> okay, so this jacket I'm so excited about. Okay, so first of all, look at it. Oh, isn't she sexy? She's big and she's chunky, and I think she'll be like nice for the winter. But it says Paris Sport Club. Look. Literally, Paris Sport Club, Club Sportif de Paris. I'm just so excited. It's amazing. I gotta wipe down. I'm gonna wipe down this like inner part just because it's from thrift. Anyways, and then I found these shoes, and they are a bless, a blessing, and that they fit me, and that they're gorgeous, and they are coal hand waterproof. It says BV on it, but that was like something someone marked on there. Yeah. Anyway, look at them. Look, look at, oh, they're just so sexy. They're kind of like giving Doc Martin. They're giving, I don't know, everything, to be honest. I can try to show you the inside, like the. Yeah, try to show you the inside, like labeling. But they are just gorgeous, and I literally can't wait to wear them. I don't know how I'm going to style them. I can't wait. Okay. And then I got this purse, and I don't know how I feel about it yet, but I really think it'd be fun to have just like a more of a pursy purse. It's a brown purse. It has got a lot of nice pockets, which I'm really excited about. Because we've got like a front pocket here, a middle zip pocket, and then another side pocket. Wait, sorry guys, I didn't even show you. Middle zip pocket, and then us two side buttony pockets. And then we've got like these little, a little side like these little side pockety actions right here and I can like throw change in there or something. But I thought it'd be fun. It's not gonna match like all my outfits, but I thought it'd be nice maybe to go with like an outfit with the vest or like the cream shirt could be fun. Or even like something with the red shoes could be really nice. Just a thought. So firstly, so I could put my purse somewhere else, I got a hand sanitizer and I got, a, I got the hand sanitizer like forever ago and then I got the like at the beginning of the summer and then I got just barely got the little like holder for it for my purse and it was a pain to get on this fanny pack but the problem is when I get to school I may want to switch back to my um bagu which I got like in the middle of the school year last year I don't know if you guys ever saw ever saw it but I may want to do that and I may even want to like put it on here but I feel like that'll look weird so I may just like throw the sanitizer in there but anyways this is the purse I've been using and I guess I could show you the fanny pack so my dad gave me this fanny pack and it's just an Adidas one, but it's been so nice because I wear it like this sometimes, kind of like a bagu energy or I just like wear it as a crossbody and I've been obsessed with it. 
So there's that tiny pack. Next up, um, my coworker, not my coworker, my student, who also kind of was my coworker, she was helping out with the class I was co-teaching. She brought these for all the kids. This is a little pop socket, but I've been really loving it. So shout out to her if she ever comes. Secondly, so what is that thread? I think I got one of these because I had an old. My dad gave me like a beaded, like one of these from New Orleans, but it started falling apart. So I got a new one of these at the beginning of summer. Like you can tell, it kind of is be getting rid of all the color here. But I got a little wallet for my thing, for my cards, and I got one of these, which I'm obsessed with. So there's that. And then let's move on to like jewelry and makeup. Um, me and my cousin went shopping for back to school stuff. Which some of that, mm, I got like two shirts when I went with her, which was very unfortunate because I was not finding anything good when I went shopping with her. But anyways, she bought me this necklace. Oh my gosh, it's tangled. She bought me this necklace, but it's a two part necklace and one necklace is now tangled in the other necklace. And it's gonna stress me out, so I'm just gonna show you this, okay. So it's got like this bit on the end of one of them. It's like thinner. And then this one is the other one. Like this is like one of them. This is the other. And they're tangled. So we're going to ignore that. Put it in here with this. And then I got some of these little. Okay, wait. Sorry. These little studs. You can't really tell. These little studs in there. The little dots. You can see kind of maybe. Yeah, you're not going to be able to tell. But anyways, I got those and I want to save them for when I get my seconds pierced. But I'm wearing the ones that they came with. These are super nice. Um, honestly, a little overpriced for the two tiny earrings. But they're 16 bucks at TJ Maxx. And I love... Their jewelry is great and my cousin loves them. Okay, I got to finally get an Aquaphor stick. And I just wanted to point that out because I love aquaphor. And I'm definitely a chapstick girly. Even though I don't use chapstick that much. I own a lot of chapstick. But I love my aquaphor. So that's a shout out to aquaphor. I went to, um, I had a gift card. So I went to Sephora and I got a couple things. And I got a, the, this, this. This cream. This cream. You know what this is? I don't know. I got this cream, this hand cream. It smells amazing. It's the like pinky one. And it smells so good. Oh, there's the little thing, but oh, it just smells so good. I keep it in my purse. I like to have it around. I got the Super Goop Glow Sunscreen. I've been loving it actually lately. I'm trying to still like work on protecting my skin a lot better, so I'm using this. And I finally went and got a new creaseless concealer, the Tarte. The Tarte Creaseless, Creaseless Concealer because it's just, it just never fails me. So I got that one in shade Light Fair Neutral. So yeah, got that. And then I went to JCPenney because I had a twenty dollar gift card to JCPenney. So I got a Pixie on the Glow Blush in. How do I take the shade? In shade. I don't know. Anyway, it won't focus, but anyway, it's like a stick. Look, and it goes up, goes back down. But I love it. And you just like, and you honestly don't even have to blend it that much, so it's just like perfect, and I love it. And I'll probably like would be something I carry in my bag because it just like adds a lot. Hey, okay, I was at Target a while ago, and I got the a small version of the Lumi deodorant. I hate the smell. It's clean tangerine. I don't like the smell at all, but I definitely keep this in my purse just in case I'm like a little sweaty and I need a little help, especially in like the boobage area. I really do like it for that, but I just think it smells bad. So, um, if you try a different smell maybe, or if you do the like no scented, fine, but I just do not like the clean tangerine smell. So, don't know what to tell you. Okay, and then I got a hate protectant. This is, um, Tris this one i 
got that heat protect in. It's like for for wet or dry hair, which I like because I had one that was only for wet hair and it was like all like like liquidy goop stuff and you just like put it through your hair when it's wet. But this one you just like spray it on wet or dry and it doesn't matter. So that's nice because I've been doing a lot of things with my hair. And then I got the this from Amazon. It's a blow dryer. That's also a hairbrush. And I want my hair to look like this. So when it grows out like a like this long maybe, I'm definitely gonna be using this a lot more. And I use it right now, but I didn't use it today because I got a haircut. Um, I didn't get a haircut. I got my bangs trimmed. And I feel like using it today, but I'll use it tomorrow before school. Before I, before I leave for school, I'll use it. And it just makes my hair look a lot nicer, I think, for now. But then I definitely, I'm hoping it will style my hair like that once it's a little bit longer. And it's got layers in it right now. So I'll probably get more layers in it once it grows out a little bit. But anyways, I like it a lot. Okay, and then I got a adapter, which is like not that exciting. But it is exciting because my old adapter for my SD card broke. So I got a new one and this one connects to my phone. It can connect to like a desktop because it's got this one now. And I can also use it just to charge my phone if I needed. Like I could plug this into my phone and then like plug this bit into the wall, I think. I don't know. I don't know, but either way, I'm excited to have this because I've been kind of struggling with posting because my other one broke. So I just got that and I'm hoping to get back on track. Last but not least of like this little knickknack stuff, I got a new planner. Okay, this planner is so cute. It's been obsessed with it. Um, so it's got like a nice little like filing spot. I put like a, some sticky notes right there just because I feel like they'd be nice. It might come in handy. It comes with stickers. And then it goes all the way from August, 2023 to um, December of 2024. So I'll show you like what the, the kind of page layout is like. So this is for November. So each month, you get like that you get um you get a section for november goals november birthdays november anniversaries additional notes and then a list of to do's for that month and then the next page you go into i think yeah so you go into like the entire month like all of the days or whatever and then you go into like separate sections of like each week all the way through and then you get a back section for notes which is nice so i just really like the way that this is like laid out which is very convenient for me i really like it and then i got a pencil case it has like little loopies but i not i don't and the pencil case is literally only for my planner because i'm going to be doing a lot of my schoolwork on my ipad and my apple pencil so i don't really need any of it so i stole some highlighters and a pencil and some pens for my planner from my boyfriend and i'm gonna use those okay now let's move on to some food items i got and just my costco run so i'm gonna move all this out of the way okay i went to the vitamin shop and i got um the ollie women's multivitamins okay so i went to <laughs> i went to the vitamin shop and i got the ollie women's multivitamins I'm really excited to try it. So it says a powerful blend of vitamins A, C, D, E, and Bs, biotin, and folic acid. So it's supposed to be like really good for um, physical and mental energy, vitamin C and D plus mining mineral zinc work to support strong immune system, and biotin is good for, you know, hair, skin, and nails. So I'm excited to see how it goes, see how these are, see if they taste good. I don't know. I've never had them before. I'm gonna try them when I get to school. So on Monday. And then I got a giant case of my favorite energy drink as of right now, which are these peach mango C4s. I had one this morning because my boyfriend also bought a case and he said I could have one. So I had one of his, but I got a giant case. So it comes with 12 of them, a little. So, so we're just gonna start over and go for snacks. So I got like three snack items. I got, first of all, are these Nature Valley Protein Chewy Bars. There's 10 grams of protein. They're gluten-free. There are six grams of fiber in them. They're really nice. I feel like 
these and the next thing I'm gonna show you are gonna be very nice like grab and throw in my purse kind of thing. Like will be nice when I'm like have practices and stuff. So and then I got yeah, so again for like throwing into my bag are these fruit rolls. I saw my coworker eat them and then my dad's friend was eating them and I tried them and I was like these are actually like not bad and they're literally only 60 calories in a serving which is one pack. So, and there is a ton, there's like, it says, it says 48 rolls, and there's a variety pack, so there's 24 of each kind, but I'm really excited to kind of, like, really try these, and I, apparently they come with collectible cards, so that'll be fun. I know technically they're, like, a kid's snack, but I honestly liked them, so I got those. And then, as kind of just, like, a board at home snacking kind of moment, I just got a giant bag of trail mix. And might I add that I do not like raisins, so I don't know what I'm going to do with those. But I don't like raisins, but there is almonds, cashews, pe peanuts, and M&M's. And there's milk chocolate and peanut M&M's. So I'm excited about that. I'm excited about both kinds of M&M's. That'll be fun. But yeah, I got trail mix. I'm excited about having like a more healthier side to like, just kind of like board snacking, I guess. Okay, and then I got one more thing. One more thing food-wise from Costco, and then I'll show you the big, the big boy Costco item. But anyways, I got these Kodak. Kodak? Kodiak, Kodiak I think? Kodiak, maybe? These, just the power cakes. The 15 grams of protein, flapjack, and waffle mix. So I'm gonna be using these to make mini waffles, but this is the big, the big pack. The big box which i think i want to say i don't know it says there's 32 servings in here and i'm only one person so it won't take that long i mean it will, i mean it will take a while for them to run out okay the last thing i got from costco is this excuse me okay last thing i got from costco was this it's a big box of tide pods this probably was the best, my favorite, not my favorite purchase, but like my most bizarre purchase. And you wanna know why? Okay, because there are four of these bags in here. I gave one of them to my boyfriend and his roommate because I have been using their Tide Pods that they came here with. And they had a ton, a ton to work with. But like, I, they were kind of running out when I went to go buy these. So I was like, oh, I'll just give you guys a bag. And then I literally opened one of the bags because I was doing like a bunch of laundry before I leave. That way I'm not using theirs. But I opened one of the bags and that probably will last me like a while. And then I got two more bags. And my goal is that I don't have to buy any more Tide Pods for the rest of the year. Because Tide Pods are stupid. And I don't want any laundry. But I have, I'm like very particular about the way I do my laundry. So I need like a lot of Tide Pods. Well, guys, I think we're done. I think we're Okay, guys, we are done with the haul. I have showed you guys everything that I got this summer to get ready for my last year of college. So if you don't know, my college is a community college that with my degree, I'm gonna get a degree in dance. It only lasts two years. So I'm gonna be done soon, which I'm going to try to utilize this time to do a lot, a lot of college vlogs college what i eat in a day college get ready with me college fun things dance major fun things like just a ton and ton and ton of college related videos as i can because i know that stuff is really good and really fun i love watching that kind of thing um and it'll be nice so i'm hoping to do a lot of stuff like that but also so you know like when i graduate i plan to like move in with my boyfriend so that'll also be a lot of good content so i'm never ending in content don't worry but I'm excited to do a lot of fun stuff. So I'm going to be doing a moving vlog tomorrow. And I'll show you guys like me moving in. I'll show you guys me unpacking. I'll show you my room. All that fun shebang. I will also show you a lot of fun stuff like that. I know. And I'll do a get ready for the first day. And I'll do... I don't know. I got some ideas in my planner. But we'll get there when we get there. So that is it for today's video hope you guys liked it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and get ready for a lot of fun college stuff coming up soon that's all bye